Alright, got game two in this series between uh, Exet and Team Rexars in the round of eight in CIC qualifiers. And you might be wondering where game one is, because it's probably not uploaded unless I could manage to actually make it work at this point. I can't get the replay to download. I don't know what's wrong with the system, but I don't have access to it. Therefore, don't have it. I will ta I will say that Excellent won, so they're up 1-0 one, uh, one in this series. And that's all the information I have. It was about a 30-minute game, and they seem to have come out quite well, uh, running a Moon Queen strat in Super KGE's hands. So we'll see how things fare for them in Game 2, as they are up 1-0. And if I ever do manage to make that thing work, then I will upload the match, and hopefully these words will be totally irrelevant, because you'll have found it as well. But... With that said, let's uh, move on to the bands here, as we've got Ophelia Kronos getting taken out by the Legion side, taking out the Popular Jungler in Ophelia, as well as the Strong Suicide option of Kronos. And then Rhapsody and Moon Queen being removed by the Hellborn side as probably the strongest support in the game, as well as one of the harder carries, arguably the best carry in the game, are taken out, obviously. Uh, Hellborn using Moon Queen last game, so... Well, I'm, I should say, excellent playing Moon Queen last game, so a little interesting that they would then choose to ban it, but I guess figuring we don't want you guys to be able to take advantage of a hero that did very well for us in the last match, and that is indeed what happened. Um, so, it's pretty standard bans there, nothing too surprising as we move into the picking stage. Kraken and Rally going to be the first two selections here for the Legion side, so some versatility there as Kraken can play all three lanes and Rally can play really two. We almost never see short lane Rally, and for good reason, I think. But uh, that will be countered by Torture and Puppet Master, so excellent already off to an extremely strong start here with Torture, one of the better supports in the game, definitely top three, and Puppet Master, one of the best laners and one of the best late game carries, so... Two here, as we see, often banned out in the initial banning stage, and they get both of them with the uh, uh, f first couple of picks here. So, excellent looking good so far. And Legion, not so much. I'm not a huge fan of Rally personally. Um, they do have some strong team fight here on the Legion side, and a little more gank oriented than the Hellborn. So, we'll see how that works out for them. It might behoove them to group up Engineer. early and often. Engineer going to complement that lineup, of course, with the energy field. So. Plenty of teamfight AoE type abilities, and um, obviously going to be looking to be doing a little more teamfight than anything else. Also some pretty strong gank potential with Kraken and Rally. Engineer does pretty well at killing, of course, in the middle lane. And we'll almost certainly, certainly see him in that capacity. So at this point, we're, I think I'm expecting Rally Engineer in the middle lane, Kraken Suicide. For, so we're likely looking for a short laner and a jungler or a second support coming out from the Legion side. Hellhorn have Torture and Puppet. Torture can obviously play it either in the mid or the so short lane as a support, as he both zones and goes aggressive quite well. Puppet Master almost certainly be in that short lane, although we do see him mid middle occasionally. So we could be either looking for another short laner, in which case I would expect to see a jungler, because... Uh, I doubt they'd run really two hard carry type strats, but uh, it's possible. As well as a suicide, and it's going to be Benzington the soft pick here, and that will be the selection. So that'll be their suicide option, and probably looking for either a second support and a mid hero, or a uh, jungler and a solo short laner. <coughs> Could certainly see a mid hero and a jungler as well. So Exit got a couple of options left, Legion side. Not quite as many jungler and second support for, and then a hard carry being the two options. Pew banning up parasite and red, yellow rex are getting a tempest, so neither side looking like they're going to go with the jungler option. So I do expect the hellborn to be picking up a uh, mid type. And uh, <laughs> man, Pew is just uh, getting on those bands with flux being taken out, as the flux ng combo will not be available. Solstice being banned by the legion side, so yeah, another jungler getting taken out of the pool. So. I'm expecting the second support from Pew, as well as the mid-type hero, the Initiator. Uh, fair bit of options are left in that regard. Super KGE, obviously, Devour is available, so is Prisoner. And whenever you see KGE, you think, yeah, that's pretty likely. Pebble's also on the board, as is Magma, so a lot of mid-types are available for this Hellborn side. Legion side looking for second support. Master of Arms, Eluna, Empath, Nymphora, Dr. Repulsor will be their choice for the short lane carry. And I might have waited on that and picked up the support. Prisoner, Prisoner in fact, will be the selection for the Hellborn side. So getting the Hook Hero in the hands of KGE. Nymphora will be their pick. And I'm thinking, I'm kind of hoping Empath here for the Hellborn. 
Empath Glacius, Master of Arms, I think, are the most likely ones. Perhaps perhaps a Luna, but uh, I kind of hope not. She's not particularly good, in my opinion. Does not win very often. And uh, we'll see what they choose to go for. I think in this situation, the Empath would be my pick. I really, really like that hero, and I think that she gets played. You know, she play, gets played plenty. Um, and Master would be my second choice, considering how offensive that uh, mid lane could become and then put Torture as the zoning support up top to help babysit the Puppet Master. Torture, of course, will be doing just fine versus a Suicide Kraken that we're almost certainly about to see. So, very likely, Dr. Repulsor and Nymphora in the bottom lane with Rally and Andromeda. Engineer in the mid. Andro ends up being the pick. That's fine. I'm not a huge fan of it. I think uh, could be alright, but um, mm, just decent. Andrew's definitely a good support, but I think definitely more of a situational support. Perhaps uh, this is a bit of an anti-Kraken pick, figuring, oh, if somebody gets caught in the release, oh, I can swap them out, especially if it's Puppet Master, who doesn't really have a great escape mechanism. You know, Benzington has Joust, and Prisoner's Let's actually tanky. On. But if Puppet gets caught, then having the escape mechanism of the swap will be very helpful. So both sides looking reasonably strong here. I do favor Hellborn's lineup, as uh, that doesn't bode well. He'll leave inside, of course, because they need a victory here to stay alive. But uh, certainly could pull this out with the Doctor in the carry role. This is going to depend a lot, I think, on the early game on the laney phase, because whichever uh, team really is able to come out of it better is probably going to have a pretty significant advantage. It's a pretty cool Doctor alt. And as uh, obviously both Doctor and and Puppet reasonably strong lane, it's Puppet substantially more so, but uh, but Doctor can certainly hold his own, especially with the magnetic contraption and his ability to then drop what's that third ability called? Electric Frenzy and auto attacks. So we might see a clash over here in the woods as we got four heroes from Hellborn's side running in compared to just three from the Legion. And obviously having the Compel from Rally allowing for an escape mechanism there is going to be very helpful, but they got the hook in from Prisoner as well. And they're not going to get too aggressive here, just dropping a couple of wards. And are we going to see an aggressive dual lane here? It sort of looks like it. Maybe even a tri lane. Yeah, there's going to be a tri lane. So, this is going to be an issue as, uh,. I think I really like decision from Hel this decision from Hellborn. Heavily pressuring this Doctor Repulsor early on, like I said before, it will any phase will be extremely important in this game. Because if Doctor can get, gets shut down early, he does nothing. He doesn't recover very well. And this tri is basically going to do aggressively. Uh, exactly that. We've got two strong stuns, the excellent ability to hook in from Prisoner, and no real escape mechanism from the Legion side. It looks like they're going to be counting with their own tri -Lane, so they see this coming. I still do favor Hellborn's tri lane because the initiation is better and their follow-up is much better. We have two skill shots here, an Engineer and Nymphora, as opposed to a target and an AoE stun. Up there actually will hit Engineer, and he will take the chain reaction of the common stun, overlapping a little bit there, so he's going to be just fine, not going to die, but uh, some nice early harassment coming out. And Engineer will already be forced to pop a health potion, so no doubt most of the action will be focused in this bottom lane. Middle lane, meanwhile, we've got Rally versus Sir Bensington, so two strong initiators there with really good escape mechanisms. I don't expect, expect either of these heroes to die. I think Rally perhaps is a bit of a disadvantage just because of Lance Long, but I would really be surprised if uh, Bensington managed to kill him. That's going to require a pretty serious misplay here from Lila Rexar. Just make sure there's anything. Up top, we've got Suicide Kraken versus a solo puppet master, not a huge surprise. Both these heroes should once again be mostly fine, and I think, again, Puppet Master has the advantage in terms of trying to grab a kill here. Obviously, the escape mechanism from Kraken is pretty huge, but Puppet does have two CC tools and a bit stronger landing presence, in my opinion. They both obviously have a really good auto-attack ability for getting CS in the Whiplash and the Splash, but obviously with the range from Puppet Master, that's going to provide a little bit of an advantage, plus, of course, having that short lane will help out. So Hellborn, I think, taking the advantage of potentially all three lanes here. And it's going to come... A lot of this is going to come down to the short lane here, this dry lane. This is basically the, the the win or lose dry lane. Where if you don't win the dry lane, you lose the game. A 
Looks like we're looking for a jump here. Zealstone will not hit. Chain reactions, though, do hit on Dr. Repulsor, and she's going to be pushed back in here. Plus the Comet Stone. Kegstone does connect on, on Prisoner, but a couple more auto attacks. And that is going to be enough. No, Health Pot actually will save her. And now Prisoner going to be in some trouble. We might see a Bloodlust. Yep. Ends up being a turnaround there. Keg actually does hit Torture. They're going to try to chase him down, but it's not going to be enough. As they do not have enough mana left, Torture will pop the health pot. Andromeda running off to the side, gonna get blocked out a little bit here, but eating through the trees, trying to survive. Dropping the impalement here is Torture. Also takes the chain reactions onto Nymphora, and Nymphora is definitely gonna fall here. And she got a little too aggressive. Pod not gonna help her. And she's gonna go to Pod Rills. Uh, early. I don't really agree with that decision. I think they need the mana. Especially with the amount of spammable spells they have, uh, having that Nymphora zeal. Or, uh, Grace the Nymph? Yeah, Grace the Nymph is, uh, gonna be a lot more valuable than having that pod, which is pretty easy to miss. Hook back there onto Doctor, and well done by KG. That's gonna be another kill here for the Hellborn side. And Torture will go off to the side and pick up some mana battery. So. Things slightly in favor of the Hellborn side at this point, as they are at a 2 to 1 hero kill advantage in this tri lane. Engineer and Repulsor coming back in as Nymphora is moving around a little bit. Foreman Arun will be spawning here. Looks like Torture is going to go grab it along with Andromeda, actually. No. Yeah. Invis. Zealstone goes down, but uh, Tort will still be able to pick that up. Obviously, before Repulsor hits six is the is the key time here because that's the time where they can really, really easily get fixed on him. After that, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. Invis torture hanging around here, and they know obviously that he's invisible. Gonna drop a stun here, and the hook will miss. So, bit missed time there, but obviously with the invis room, the Legion side were playing that fairly safe, pretty far back, knowing that uh, torture was probably hanging around looking to drop a stun on them, and they were exactly correct. Probably could have milked that invis for a little bit more time in control of this lane, but... Felt like they had a kill opportunity, and therefore they went for it. Can't really disagree with that. Legion now looking to stack some camps, dropping some contraptions and a turret. All sorts of stacks over here on the side, actually. So, figuring, oh, we don't have lane control, they can have it. Meanwhile, in middle lane, actually, Lilarex here does drop, so... Nightfall goes down, and that's the kill. So like I said before, not a huge surprise that Benzington is the one that ends up coming out on top here. Story footer at 330 gold per minute compared to Lila Rexar at 240 GPM. As you would expect, uh, Benzington to win this lane, no doubt. Maybe not no doubt, but uh, I lose it before. It was. If, if you gotta pick somebody to go in for him, it's probably gonna be Benzington. Top lane, meanwhile, Macera is at 260 gold per minute compared to Mr. Kraken at 290, so Kraken actually winning this top lane. Obviously, neither side dropping yet, but uh, doing a little better in terms of the CS score here. As he's currently sitting at 30 and 4 compared to 27 and 5 from Puppet Master, and Kraken's still sitting on Health Pod, so he's got some regen, so does Puppet Master, so I think it might. Uh, Behoove Puppet Master to get a little more aggressive here. Drops a stun there from Andromeda, though, and on top of the Puppet Show. There's going to be a lot of trouble here as Kraken's going to take the Voodoo Puppet and the Strings. One more auto attack on the Puppet, and then he's dead, so. Nice that I happen to be up here talking about them. Well, Andrew comes in from the side, drops a Comet Stun, and secures a kill. Haste Room will be bundled up here by Rally and activated. They're going to look for a jump here as Puppet Ma uh, Torture and Prisoner in some trouble. Tower Dive is real. Shackle gets dropped, and that's going to stop the Compel, actually. Chain reactions get taken as well, and the hook! Oh, boy. That was a Massacre. pretty poor decision. Yep. Yep, that was a pretty poor decision. I don't know why they... I just... If It would be one thing if Doctor were 6, I think, and he could have followed that up, but... 
She just basically ran under the tower and way behind the tower with zero support. So, don't know if that was a communication issue or if uh, they were just like, yeah, you're crazy. But clearly not a great decision. And so far we've got about 3k gold, 3.5k experience in favor of Xset. And things are looking pretty good for them early on, taking a look at the GPM charts. The highest farmers in the game are all on their team, as every single one of their primary farmers above 340 gold per minute, compared to nobody above 260 on the Legion side, Kraken actually leading the way. And like I said before, this Doctor is going to have trouble if this continues, because this is just, I mean, this is not what Doctor does. Doctor does not recover. Prisoner over here looking for a hook. We'll drag the creeps back to the wave. Seal stun not going to connect. Up there actually onto Nymphora and the chain positions just wow. Just destroyed her. Man, that was a lot of damage coming out really quickly. And they can sort of do that here, if they get all the stuns and spells off at once. Top lane, looks like we're gonna have some roam here, as uh, Nymphora coming over here. Looking for the jump on Puppet, no escape, and release a Kraken. Sealstone will follow that up, gonna be in a lot of trouble here. Pod goes down, charge into the woods, one more auto attack will finish her off. Him. It. So some sort of Russian Puppet? I don't know. So nice gank there, and that'll stem the tie a little bit, as the Outborn side had had six straight kills after the Bloodlust. And it looks like we're going to see a bit of more aggression here in middle lane. are continuing to jump over here. Invis Nymphora will follow that uh, Bensington, who's going to pick up an Invis rune, or an Illusion rune, excuse me. Joust forward, and Compel's going to miss as a result, so... Oops. Bensington should know something going, is going wrong here. Actually, nice! NG Keg will stun Bensington, so well-timed there. And they're going to try to die this. Nope, that's not a good idea. Stun's coming out, plus the torrent, and that will be the death. So, Kraken rotating from middle. And pretty much actually everybody was there except for Dr. Repulsor. So they try to get aggressive, but not very effective there, as they do nearly get the kill on Engineer, but obviously not particularly good engagement. Shackle goes down, plus the hook and the prison break. That's going to be a kill. Well played from KGE there, as he uh, combos his abilities very nicely to prevent Doctor from being able to jump with his ult. Bensington Illusions will chase Rally into the tower. And they'll take a bit of damage from that, but they'll be totally fine in the end. Over here, Kraken gonna pick up a portal key. Is he gonna be able to do anything? Nope. Strings go down, and the puppet show. We'll see if they can follow this up completely. Booty puppet goes down, plus the chain reactions, and yeah. Obviously, you can see the positioning there, making sure that if he is going to try to charge in one direction, he takes somebody with them, or with him, so that uh, 
they can continue attacking. So portal key picked up by uh, by Kraken, actually pretty solid. Get already, Benzin gonna joust in. That was a mistake. Compel and off the charges, but he actually gets the last hit with the lance along, and he'll now run away with the energizer. So that's Benzington. Joust forward, plus the hook back, and the lance along once again is another kill. So. Strayfighter gets jumped by two heroes, and with the help of KG porting in, turns it into a double tap. Benzington, good hero. Looks like we're going to see a port coming in for Impulsor, as well as Kraken. And they're going to try to jump KGE here. He could be a lot of... That's going to be the finishation. Buzz into for Zell. Nightfall coming out here, though. They might try to turn this around. At least Kraken gets dropped as well. Engineer going to drop first, but KGE is going to be following straight after him. Four going to get pulled back in by the uh, Royal Stomp. And we'll see. Nope, Benzington, you're not getting out of this, buddy, as the Seismic Slam finishes him off. So, it took all five heroes, but they ended up getting a two for one as both of the Hellborn's initiators were destroyed. Bot Tower now will get pushed in a little bit by Repulsor, who's still seeing a 210 gold per minute. And it's going to be real hard for him to, to do much of anything at this point. They need to stack the jungle like crazy, and I think they need to get really defensive here with their wards and start getting aggressive with uh, Rally and Kraken. Try to put Exit on the back foot as much as possible. And open up the jungle and open up the bottom lane for Repulsor, who just basically needs to sit here and farm for about a year and a half. As he gets in the bottle. So this, uh, this CSing, I'm not a huge fan of this. Crack and come in middle, so they might be looking for a jump under a prisoner, and I think that's definitely the right move, except for the fact that he's got a haste rune actually from the side. Dr. Repulse is going to come in here, look for the jump onto Torture. Compel will finish him off. Shackle is down on Repulsor, but they're going to drop the energy field, which will prevent further aggression. AG looking for a hook, but will not be able to find one. So, nice gank, that's what they sort of need to do. Now, if they can give those kills to Repulsor, that'd be even better. And Kraken cannot be doing this. Stack some ancients, guys. Hellborn up around 5k in both categories. Compel forward there. Does not actually hit. Falls with the shackle, plus the combat stun, but the pulse gonna jump in here. Release of Kraken doesn't hit anything. And the Legion now are gonna back up, feeling like, yeah, that was not a great decision. And it was not well executed. Rev Ward there will be countered. As well as a word of sight, actually. So, Pew getting some gold back for his investments. Mid tower looks like he's be pretty heavily pressured here, as four heroes, really five actually coming in with Puppet and Andro. Being a little bit further behind, but mid tower is definitely the focus. You know, 15 minutes in, we haven't seen a tower drop yet, as neither side has a really good pushing team. Torture and probably Hellborn have a little bit better, as Torture and Andro do a fair bit with their various abilities. Off to the side here, Torture and KG, you're not going to hit that off. Chain reaction is knocked down as Priest, but that's it. Word of Rev, obviously, I think, helping out a little bit. <laughs> Apparently, Torturous Garden is in bloom. So, Storyfighter eating some damage there, but uh, gonna get the tower. Obviously, that mid tower very valuable for positioning and for map control, as well as the monies. Sarah continuing to farm pretty well, 380 gold per minute, the highest farm in the game. Stroyfooter in the meantime actually will take out Purple Rexar with a Nightfall and joust away, so he should be fine. Not 
quite sure how he gets that initiation without using the Nightfall, but... Okay. The middle lane shotgun has dropped on Rally, but uh, no further initiation. Bot tower getting pressured a little bit here. Double damage on Strayfooter plus Torture. Might actually be able to take this tower down. Yeah, this is getting crushed. So this will be another tower kill for the Hellborn. As that DD doing work. And off the side, they're going to run right in and for Oh, you're in trouble, buddy. Kraken X2 jump at the portal key, and it will be in fact Torture who falls. Joust away by. Sir Benzington, and he'll be okay, so the backup is real. Middle laner looking for the jump here on Rally. Prisoner wants that hook, man. You will actually get it, and doesn't get the shackle. Can't get vision. The Hellborn have destroyed a legion of Top tower falls as well, so all of a sudden Hellborn are taking three towers in a couple of minutes. And Legion, of course, have taken zero. Shroud picked up by Puppet Master on top of his Whispering Helm. And Sanitarius is uh, KGE's first item choice. And Benzitin has gone for the Energizer, so plus 1900 gold. So let's see what he goes for next. I wouldn't mind uh, a shrunken head really on any of these heroes. With Repulsor in the game, with Kraken in the game, and with Engineer in the game. No doubt that would be a valuable pickup. And four port actually coming in over here, and Pew gonna be the target of choice, but he's got some backup, and we'll see if they can actually turn this onto somebody. Nightfall gonna come in here and play the energy field. Purple Rex are gonna be the first to fall. They will kill the energy field right off the bat, and Engineer gonna die the lance along here. Nymphora gonna be the next target of choice. Super KG, or sorry, Surfeiter is out of mana here. We'll also take the Nymphora zeal as both he and Prisoner do so, but uh, that's gonna be it for the aggression as they turn a Nymphora port into two kills. Whoops. Agent's also going to be stolen. Off the side here, KG. Looking for a jump. Will actually find one on Rally, plus the Shackle. We'll see if they can follow this up with enough. And there's actually the release of Kraken on a KG. He gets charged out of it, though. And Rally, one more auto attack. He's going to die. Nope. He was the first one to drop. And there finally goes Rally, as well as Prisoner. Now, uh, Mansington getting chased down. No mana available. He's probably going to fall here. Repulsor able to finish him off, as the zeal is not necessary. So, Purple Rex are getting a double tap there. Up to 250 gold per minute. Definitely a needed engagement for them as they're continuing to fall further and further behind. Might actually be able to turn this into a tower kill as they went three for one in that exchange. And their lack of push is really hurting them at this point because they need some map control, they need some tower gold, and they can't really find it as they don't have the ability to do so. And Nymphora here is going to get spotted out. Dusk's out. The Puppet Master, though, as he takes the office charges. Chain reaction's going to Repulsor, though. Take Hegside, take him by uh, Puppet Master, he's going to try to turn this around. A couple more auto-attacks, actually, no, can't get the Voodoo Puppet off. And for trying to port, does that stun, and she's going to fall along with Engineer. Very possibly takes the Chain Reactions, a couple more auto-attacks, and that will be his death. Off to the side here, Puppet Rexar on that. Uh, Dr. Repulsor getting chased down by an Assassin Shrouded. Um, Puppet Master, but he's going to run right into Torture. Takes the Chain Reactions, a few more autos, trying to slow him down, and that's going to be it. So, the attempted jump there on Puppet with the Dust completely back backfires as uh, they lose three heroes. Crack me one to survive. You need control. Portal key picked up on Rally, so their initiation continues to get better. Problem is, where's the damage? There just isn't any. I think we saw that heavily illustrated in that last fight. Pup Master is not particularly tanky. He's got 1300 health. At 21 minutes into the game, if you've got three heroes collapsing on a hero with 1300 health, and investments, I guess, that shouldn't be that hard to kill. You know, they got multiple stuns, they have plenty of initiation. It's just, there's no damage. That's the problem. where you think, you know, Rally, Magmus would have been a better pick. 
And this you get the alt, you get consistent lava surges, they do a ton. Hits a little bit harder. Pebbles' is burst might have been a little bit more welcome. I just... I don't really like Rally Man. I don't think he does enough. Compel is a really useful ability, but that's almost all he does. It's Compel and Seismic Slam. Demoralizer Roar is very valuable, and the battle experience got so nerfed that his laning presence isn't helped too much by it. Doesn't seem to lane super well. 230 gold per minute, obviously not uh, contradicting that notion. In terms of game plans here, I'm not convinced there's much. Puppet Master picking up a Warhammer on top of that for a Shrunken Head. Benzington also working on one, so is Prisoner, so we're going to see three Shrunken Heads coming out for the Lee Hellborn side in a couple of minutes. They are grouping up down here, looking for a jump on KG, but KG knows that's coming. And he backs off. And four are going to drop a port here, and we'll actually jump over to the side, looking for a jump onto Torture here, but Pew is there as well. And four is still goes down, and uh, uh, Release Their Cat will we'll catch two, so both supports off, dead right off the bat. Nightfall coming in for the counter, though, as the Prison Break hits, cracking over here. Actually, Yellow Rexer will be the first to fall, so it's two supports for one at this point. Over here trying to trace down Dr. Repulsor. Energizer is active, gets pulled back in, and Repulsor will fall. Energy field gets dropped over here, the Puppet Show is active, and Red Engineer will be the next to drop. Seismic Slam doing some damage, but they're going to do this right around onto Rally. And Kraken is once again the only one to survive. So, and that's the second time we've seen an M4 port go aggressive. At least this time they got a couple of kills on the supports, but then they get completely turned around on. Excellence responses to. Uh, to the aggression of the Leeds new side is quite frankly excellent. Which is just the worst, but uh, that's funny to me, because I'm stupid. Uh, the point is, you know, they're, they're doing a lot to support their team. They see two supports in the middle get jumped, and not like, oh, it's just supports, it's whatever, well, they'll die, who knows, who cares. They drop three ports, and they bring all their farmers in, and they turn that around with four kills, so... It's sort of hard to counter that aggression. I think maybe the, the answer to it is to take some towers. And their lineup isn't really built for that, and that's sort of a problem. You know, their pushing potential is extremely minimal. At 24 minutes in, you cannot have no tower deaths. And it's only the top one is the, the top's the only one below half health. I mean, if it if they had no mid tower, that would have been two easy picks on the supports and no response. But having that mid tower up cost them four deaths. And it just goes to show you how important map control is and how important taking towers is, especially early on, to be able to open the map up. Swap there, on to Rally, takes the chain reactions, and a Comet, and the Joust. A little bit of stacking stuns there, gets away with the Compel, drops a Seismic Slam, but he's still gonna fall. Hook coming in there, doesn't actually hit anything. First counter there, is on to Storyfooter, drops the energy field, but will not be enough to save him, as early release crack and helps finish off Storyfooter, but uh, two for one. So, it's a good initiation there from the Hellborn. They lose Benzington, but they take out both Rally and Engineer. KG, don't steal ward kills from the supports. That's just mean. That 50 gold is all they live for. And it looks like Excellent might be interested in pushing down a secondary tower. Kraken here looking to finish off his shrunken head. Which is fine. I don't think that's the best thing, actually. It's going to stop a lot of the CC tools, but he's not really dying in these fights. You know, he's pretty damn tanky already. Actually, off to the side, he will jump, and here comes Dr. Repulsor as well. Pew gonna be the focus, but in the meantime, both uh, M4 and Kraken are gonna die. And down finally goes Pew. Strings are over here on to Rally. We'll see if he can actually survive this couple of auto attacks. Nope. A Sarah managed to grab the kill. In the meantime, Super KG gets picked off by Repulsor and Engineer, who are now gonna run the hell away because they can't continue to fight this. Shrunken head finish on Kraken, or uh, KGE there, as well as Puppet and Benzington. So I don't like this item choice on uh, on Kraken. The Hellflower on Repulsor makes a lot of sense to me, locking down that Puppet especially. But Kraken needs damage, man. He needs a Bulwark. Or 
or something. I, I cannot, I, I would definitely go bulwark on Kraken here over, over Shrunken Head. The Hellborn do have a fair amount of magic damage and a fair amount of CC tools, really, it's the CC that's really doing it, but... The issue is, hey, you're not getting focused, buddy, you've got 1700 health, and you're far and away, you know, the most difficult hero to kill on your team. They're gonna lock down the Repulsor, they're gonna lock down Rally, and they're gonna pick off the sports really quickly, they're not gonna focus you, so you don't need a Shrunken to make them focus you less. And you're not doing any damage. I mean, let's be real about this. Let's look at the damage charts here. Kraken's at 11%, which is second highest on the team, but look at the Hellborn side. 19, 13, 12. Meanwhile, off the side, initiation. On to four again. Actually, survive here is the compel. Nope, joust. Benzutin pops a shrunken over here, looking for a jump on NG. Does not care about the energy field. A couple more items actually will finish him off. Once again, stop dropping magic abilities, NG. It's not working out for you. Torture over here, gonna get swapped out by Andromeda. Gonna try to live here. Seismic Slam goes down onto Pew. Actually gets stopped. Super KG interrupts everything with his ultimate, and here goes Rally. KG finally will die along with Benzutin, but that's gonna be genocide. And there's a CC. Genocide! So, GG's are called, and yeah. Hellborn wins! A little bit better, not a little, a little bit, I think substantially better play from Excellent. These decides draft wasn't super bad, but I had some good screamers with their item choices. I don't think their tri-lane was particularly strong, and like I said, whoever wants the tri is going to win the game, and the Hellborn definitely win the tri-lane. Um, more importantly though, it came down to the pushing. They just did not have any capacity whatsoever to push, and the amount of map control that the Legion, the Hellborn side had as a result of that basically won them this game. So. Take this excellent takes this two to nothing and they move on to the pro league while uh, Rexars drop to the deathmatch and that will do it for this series unless I can get game one up working in which case I will do it later. Uh, see you next time.